Hello guys, today we are going to learn about the blood and its elements. Blood. Blood is a special connective tissue consisting of a fluid matrix called as plasma and the formed elements. Now, if different organs in our system is small factories, then our blood is the transportation system which transport different substances, nutrients, oxygen, etc throughout the body and take out the waste material from these cells and the organs. So blood is the main transporter system which is connecting all the organs of our, of our body and the function of our body will be failed without this transporter. Now consider this scenery as a blood system. This river as blood and inside this these boats are the blood cells of the blood system. These boats are carrying different substances inside the blood. Now see how. This is our blood vessel. Inside our blood vessel there is a blood. In the blood there is a fluid matrix called as plasma and in this plasma there are different formed elements. These elements are platelets, red blood cell, white blood cell. Now let's consider this picture as a water transportation system let me tell you how in this water transportation system the river is our plasma which is 55 percent of the total blood our river the plasma inside the this river there are small boats which are carrying different substance type of boat one red blood cells Red blood cell is a boat which is carrying the oxygen. It contains 41% of the total blood. Next is the white blood cell boat. This boat contains the warrior of the system which fight against the infection. Next which is in very less number. The name of this boat is platelet which contains the plumber which check and protect the uh, any leakage in the system. So our river, the plasma contains three boats, the red color boat, the RBC carrying the oxygen, the blue boat, the WBC carrying, carrying the warriors and the small boat called the platelet which is a plumber of the body. The last, the most important one is the plasma which contains the 55% of the total blood. So let's talk about plasma first. This is the picture of our blood centrifugation. If you will centrifugate the blood, the blood will divide it into three parts. The lighter one, the plasma, the heavier, uh, heavier one, the red blood cell and the smallest part, the platelets. Actually the color of the blood is color of the blood, the fluid in which red blood WBC are moving is of yellow color or you can say straw colored fluid. But our blood seems to be red color all because of the RBC. If you will remove RBC from the blood, then there is only a straw colored or a yellow colored fluid. Now, let's see the consist consistent of the plasma. The main component is water which is 90 to 92 percent in the plasma. Then next 6 to 8 percent is of protein which are very important for our body. Then others mineral, glucose, gases, hormones etc. Now let's talk about the protein of plasma. Main three proteins are found in the plasma which are fibrinogen, globulin and albumin. Let's talk about these function of these proteins in brief. Functions of plasma protein. Prevention of blood loss. Prevention of blood loss we know is done by the clot. This clot is manufactured by the by two main proteins, fibrinogen and prothrombin present in the blood plasma. Next, retention of the fluid in the blood. The body fluid is uh, the retention of body fluid is done by the albumin and globulin of the plasma. Next, body immunity. Body immunity is done by the main protein immunoglobin. Immuno means immunity, globin means protein. So the immunoglobin is the protein which is working as a antibodies. 
all the antibodies are immunoglobin but always remember all the immunoglobins are not antibodies repeating again all the immunoglobins are not antibodies but all the antibodies are immunoglobin next maintenance of ph the blood plasma maintains and neutralizes the acid base of the system hence it maintains the ph ph acid base buffer of the system next transport of certain material mainly the hormone thyroxin is transported by a plasma protein next distribution of heat a uniform distribution of heat throughout the body is done by the plasma proteins enzymes in the blood plasma some proteins work as a enzymes so these are the main function of the plasma protein in the next video we will learn about rbc thank you